Hola amigos y amigas, you are now with Jocelyn y como siempre, I am so grateful you are here. This is our energy reading for the couple of weeks ahead uh, with the intention for us to gain a deeper understanding and higher conscious awareness of the overall energy for the upcoming couple of weeks as we approach our next new moon, which is a Scorpio solar eclipse taking place on October 25th. For those of you who have been watching my energy readings and my journaling prompt videos for every full and new moon, you probably noticed that I am in a different environment. I am currently amidst some travels visiting family as my mom just got married. So I am not home at the time, but I absolutely could not not do this energy reading, not channel this reading, um, as well as not offer you journaling prompts for the Scorpio solar eclipse because this is a very, very powerful um, eclipse season that we have been approaching, been preparing for. And as a Scorpio myself, I already know that <laughs> the energies that we will that we are progressing into can feel very intense. Um, you may find yourself already feeling like there is a deep, profound transformation taking place or is about to take place in your life. So I'm very excited to channel this reading. I thank you all for your flexibility in me being in a different environment, me having a different setup. Um, I did, as always, cleanse myself, cleanse my space, cleanse the decks. Um, thankfully, my mom has some sage in her home, so I was able to do some cleansing, um, which is very important for me. So if you would like to cleanse yourself, if you would like to open yourself up to receive and do some sort of ritual, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab some writing materials. If you'd like to write down some messages that really resonate with you, I have my mom's dog here who will be present with us. And I already have some messages here for us that came up as I was preparing for this reading. So without further ado, let's get into this. Let's see what the upcoming overall energies are, messages that we're meant to um, be made aware of. I do set the intention that those who are meant to receive the messages from this reading align to this video. So if you align to this video, then there very well may be some messages that you are meant to hear. And I also set the intention that all the messages gained from this reading is dedicated to the growth, to the healing, to the awakening, to the deeper understanding, to the higher um, perceptions and perspective, to the overall growth and optimal health and well-being of all beings in all places. Okay, so as mentioned, we have a Scorpio solar eclipse taking place on October 25th. What are the overall, what is the overall energy for the upcoming couple of weeks? What is the overall energy? What is the overall energy for the upcoming couple of weeks? What is the overall energy for the upcoming couple of weeks ahead what is the overall energy okay there's already a lot of messages that we have here in regards to the overall energy so let's get into the ones that came up as i was preparing for this reading so we've got the air guardian to shift your perception to expand your perception, your perspectives on life overall, on your life, on your journey, on your spiritual and human unfoldments, you may have come across the theme of shifting your perception a lot recently. And that is no coincidence because I feel like a lot of the healing that has been taking place in the collective is the healing of being so fixated on what is right in front of us, right? Is like really identifying ourselves and attaching ourselves to 
what is taking place right in front of us and not taking the time and not making it a priority, a spiritual practice to consistently take a step back and really see the bigger picture um, and really just widening, widening um, and expanding our overall perception and not being so fixated on our current circumstances, um, on our external circumstances and really turning inward, turning inward to expand outward, right? And really understanding how powerful it is to shift our perception. This is something that I really, really believe in. Like, we cannot underestimate how powerful it is to shift our perception because how we perceive the world is how we experience the world. So if you don't like how you are experiencing your world, then shift your perception and how you are experiencing your world, how you are experiencing your life will shift as well. We also got the Shaolin master to be graceful in movement and in action. Um, you may have found yourself, I mean, we are transitioning into the time of the year where we're naturally feeling called to slow down. And slowing down will not only gift us the opportunity to take a step back and see the bigger picture and shift our perception, but it will also gift us the opportunity to be more graceful in our movements and in our actions because when we're in a rush, we miss things, right? Like when we're in a rush and we're just like very fixated, we miss out on the details. We miss out on the lessons. We miss out on the integration that is incredibly important and essential to our ascension. How can you be more graceful in your movements and in your actions? How have you been integrating grace into your life and into your being? Because that is what we are ascending into. We're ascending into being more graceful beings, being more intentional, being more mindful of how it is that we are showing up in life, how it is that we are responding to life, how it is that we are perceiving life, right? We've also got the heart guardian to love and let yourself be loved, okay? To love and let yourself be loved. The theme of relationships has been one of the, the forefront themes of our lives in the past year. There's been a lot of healing, a lot of transformation taking place in our relationships. Um, and keep in mind, you know, to expand your perception of relationships. Often when we talk about relationships, Many of us will immediately just think about our relationships with other people, but it's also, you know, the healing and transformation of our relationship with ourselves, of our relationship with spirit, of our relationship with um, our passions, with our career, with our money, with um, our... Um, just so many different relationships that are experiencing healing, that are experiencing transformation. A lot of that has been taking place. And one of the shifts in perception that I have really been rooting myself into and bringing myself back to time and time again that has been very resourceful for me has been the perception of, you know, again, taking that step back and asking myself, is this rooted in fear or is this rooted in love? This has helped me really sort out through my relationships, sort out through my reflection, sort out through my decision making, sort out through um, whatever it is that I am confronting in my life, asking myself, is this rooted in love or is this rooted in fear? And really prioritizing a life that is wholly, completely, fully rooted in love. And let's keep in mind that, you know, 
Scorpio is the sign of transformation. Scorpio is a very intense sign of all the water signs. Scorpio is the water sign with the deepest of oceans. Scorpio runs very, very deep. Scorpio is open to having hard conversations, deep conversations, taboo conversations. Scorpio can come off very, very intense. Scorpio is the sign that um, rises, you know, that that burns into ashes and rises from the ashes and ascends into the phoenix. Scorpio goes through stages of transformation and evolution and we're all going to be experiencing this and have been experiencing this and have been preparing for this leading up to this eclipse season and a lot of it again has to do with relationships a lot of it has to do with love and really ascending into the frequency the vibration of love and making sure that we are doing everything out of love that we are um that we are opening ourselves up to a more loving life because a lot of us have been rooted in fear a lot of us have been making decisions out of fear a lot of us have been showing up in life um and taking action out of fear and that has caused so much imbalance not only in our own individual life but in all life in the collective life in the world and the healing and the dismantling and the awakening and the evolution that we've been witnessing taking place not only again in our individual life but in the collective is the scorpionic if you will evolution of being you know dismantled of burning to the ground of like really facing your fears of really confronting your shadows and doing the deep shadow work and allowing everything to fall apart with faith with conviction with um a very spiritual surrender a very intentional surrender knowing that that the falling apart is necessary in order for everything to come back into place and this is the falling apart of fear so that we can come back into place in love that was a really long explanation but this very much so just feels very very in alignment the heart guardian because it's time it's time for us to to experience to be in love we belong in love right we belong in love because love is who we are the source of who we are is love and we deserve that it is our birthright and it's time to make choices out of love it's time to show up in this life out of love it's time to create a life out of love and that is the life that we deserve We've also got the Direction Guardian to choose your path. This card has been coming up quite often over the past few months in these readings. And I really just feel like, you know, we're all being called to be more decisive. We're all being called to not question our decisions, to really choose the path that we are intentionally going to walk, that we're intentionally going to pave for ourselves. And again to make that choice out of love to be very mindful like am i choosing this path out of love or out of fear and if you've been having difficulty deciding which path to take in your life again taking that step back and asking yourself which path is rooted in love and which path is rooted in fear and to choose the path that is rooted in love and to stand tall in that right to not question yourself so much that is again part of what we're ascending into is really having faith in ourselves because when we have faith in ourselves that's a reflection of us having faith in the divine that is a reflection of us having faith in the creator in source in great spirit in god in um the divine intelligence that created all life it is so powerful 
we are so powerful when we have faith in ourselves and have faith that there is a healer, there is a guide, there is a leader within us that we can trust. And just not questioning ourselves so much anymore. You know, a lot of us have been turning to others to make decisions for us. Um, if you're someone who asks others for advice a lot, then you may resonate with that truth that may be uncomfortable to confront and accept. But often when we're someone who asks others for a lot of advice, it's because we're afraid of making the wrong decision and we don't trust ourselves fully to make the right decision so this is we've done a lot of a lot of the healing that we're doing is the healing of us trusting ourselves again of us trusting ourselves again we've also got the spring card to see our seeds grow this is harvest season and although we're not in the season of spring currently we may notice that certain aspects of our lives do reflect the season of spring where we are witnessing certain seeds sprout and bloom and grow and it's important that we acknowledge that so take a moment to ask yourself like which aspects of my life you know reflect the season of spring which aspects of my life are seeds that i'm starting to see sprout that i'm starting to see bloom that i'm starting to see grow and acknowledge that growth acknowledge that growth um we've also got the earth guardians to stay rooted and grounded when we are experiencing a lot of ascension when we're experiencing a lot of growth when we're experiencing a lot of these mystical spiritual experiences it's important that we are grounding ourselves in our humanness, in our earthliness, in Mother Nature and Mother Earth because ultimately we, we are having this human experience and we can't be all spirit because we're not all spirit. So when we are experiencing the ascensions, may we stay rooted and grounded in our humanness as well and really see the beauty in the harmony of how our human self assists our spiritual self and how our spiritual self assists our human self and really honoring all sides of us okay very quickly there's some more cards here um we've got the seer to see beyond the current situation so again it's really about you know us expanding our perception us not being so fixated on what's right in front of us and acknowledging that what's right in front of us is temporary that what's right in front of us is a reflection of our past ultimately i really feel like what it all comes down to is us really practicing being present because when we are present we have all of our energy um, to create and you may have found yourself being more conscious of your thoughts being more conscious of your subconscious and how that has been impacting and influencing your life and your life experiences um, so embodying the seer like really seeing beyond the current situation really seeing the seer within you really embodying and embracing the visionary within you and allowing yourself to be more visionary uh, you may have felt more inspired to envision a new life for yourself to envision a new version of yourself for yourself and we're encouraged to embody and embrace the seer the visionary within us as well as the wise one to grow within our current situation right not being so in our spiritual self not being so in our ascension that we're completely uprooted from our human experience and dishonoring our human self really again bringing ourselves grounding ourselves in the present moment and while we are taking that step back to see the bigger picture we're still growing within our current situation how is this current situation this current season of my life assisting the bigger picture right how does this 
how does what I'm go going through and gr growing through right now, how is this playing a role in something bigger? Right? So it's ultimately us continuously kind of practicing that non-attachment, but still remaining present, still remaining grounded in our humanness and in the now moment. And really, again, choosing to be in love and allowing that vibration of love to assist us in growing within whatever it is that we're growing through right now okay so how can you embody the wise one currently how can you activate the wisdom within you and what is that wisdom um integration when i think of like the grounding that we're being encouraged to invest in right now that that grounding to be really is the integration right we've done so much healing we've done so much so much awakening we've experienced a lot of change and transformation but have we integrated it have we begun to really embody that wisdom have we really begun to embody um the growth and the changes and the wit and the the healing and the awakening and that is how we become the wise one right because we can become aware of a lot of things we can awaken to a lot of things we can have the knowledge of a lot of things we can have we can we can you know have done a lot of the healing work right really uh participated in a lot of spiritual practices but if we're not taking the time to really fully integrate it and embody it we're not really fully activating the wise one within us. We've also got the winter and the autumn cards. So we've got a lot of seasons going on here. Um, the winter is to take care of your needs, right? Which is the season that we are approaching. So we, we may find ourselves already really feeling the season of winter. Um, of like just having the motivation and inspiration to take care of our needs to really turn inward to come into solitude sacred solitude and really tend to our needs really um kind of come into that hibernation and start really coming into deep reflection again it, it's it's this deepening that we're going to progressively feel called to lean into because again Scorpios are very very deep Scorpio energy is very very deep energy deep healing deep love deep awakening deep um, shadow work deep light work deep conversations just very deep think think of just the whole life experience just in much greater depth that is what we're all stepping into and this season that we're in right now in autumn is the season of releasing the old um and resting allow yourself to rest as you're doing all this releasing it's very very important that we are um allowing ourselves to to restore ourselves um, to replenish ourselves as we're doing all the shedding, as we're doing all this letting go. Um, that is the medicine of the season of autumn, right? Is the shedding that we see taking place, not only in our lives, but in nature, right? It's the internal shedding, the external shedding. And it's all very, you know, Mother Nature is, is so healing in in many ways and one of the ways is that it's very reassuring that we can see that shedding is a natural integral necessary part of the process so allow yourselves to release the old allow yourself to release what no longer resonates allow yourself to really let go of what can't come with you in this next iteration of you and your life 
in these higher timelines that you are ascending into okay so reflect on that what what who and what cannot move forward with me as i move forward and upward in my life and lastly, the Hermit to retreat and recharge, which is very much autumn energy, very much uh, winter energy. Whew, that was a lot uh, in regards to the overall energy. But let's get into, let's get into, you know, should any challenges or obstacles arise as we step into eclipse season, as we experience and progress into the Scorpio solar eclipse, what energies is the collective call to step into? What energies is the collective call to um, embrace? Should any challenges or obstacles arise? Should any challenges or obstacles arise? What are the messages for the collective that the collective is meant to know in regards to any challenges or obstacles? Okay. So let's get into the ones that first came out when I was prepping for this reading. One is purification. This is autumn and fall. It is the season of sunflowers. This, this is the season where sunflowers are blooming. And um, this is also the season of purification. Like, this is a perspective that I encourage you to integrate is the perception, the perspective of my life is going through purification all the time. Life is always intending to bring me into balance. So everything that naturally is unfolding in my life, everything that is falling apart or falling together, naturally out of my hands, out of my control, and is currently a part of the flow of my life, it's all intending to bring me into balance. It's all intending to create greater harmony in my life. And it's all purification. Allow yourself to be purified. That is what all of life is experiencing, especially in this season of autumn, as we are experiencing a lot of releasing, a lot of shedding, a lot of letting go see all of the letting go as you purifying yourself of what no longer resonates you purifying yourself and your life from again what cannot come forward with you as you move forward onward and upward right allow yourself to be purified allow yourself to be cleansed allow yourself to be detoxed and a lot of the times when we are experiencing challenges, when we are experiencing obstacles um, and difficulties, these difficulties are arising because there's a certain purification, a certain detox, a certain cleanse that needs to take place. So be very mindful of that and also be mindful of miracles. Like, first of all, you, you, are a miracle yourself what what are the odds of you being alive of you being here and now in this lifetime in this very moment like you are a whole whole, whole miracle and you know we're called to vibrate on the frequency of miracles of really believing in miracles um, having faith in miracles, acknowledging the miracles that are here and now. A lot of the times when we think of miracles, we think of, you know, something very, very grand, which is a possibility, right? But there are so many miracles that are grand, but aren't the grand that our ego perceives to be grand, right? It's the details of life that are so miraculous and so overlooked we need to look at those details of life and see them as the miracles that they are um there's a a quote that i came across recently i think it was reverend michael that brought it up in a recent service at agape um and he said that i i don't know i could be wrong but what's coming up is miracles are just god being god 
Miracles are just life being life. Miracles are just creator being creator, source being source, the divine being the divine. Life, all of life is a miracle. Tune into that vibration, come into that truth, step into that fullness and trust. Trust in miracles, trust in yourself, trust in your decision making, trust that the challenges, that the difficulties, that the obstacles um, are arising for a reason, for the reason for you and your life to be cleansed in some way, um, for you to experience greater harmony, greater balance, trust. There's a lot we've been, again, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of trust issues that we've been working through, that we've been triggered into healing and confronting and acknowledging and accepting. Um, what have been the trust issues that you've been working through? And this may come up for you as well, you know, on the shadow aspect of Scorpio. Scorpio can be very envious. Scorpio can be very jealous. Scorpio can be very possessive from a fear-based foundation, right? Scorpios can have a lot of trust issues which triggers the envy and the possessiveness and the jealousy um, and those very, you know, again, Scorpio is the sign of great, great depth. So it can be great depth of light and also great depth of darkness and some of that darkness that can run pretty deep um, if Scorpios don't do the healing work is, you know, a lot of trust issues. And we're all going to be coming into the Scorpio energy. So trust that all that arises in your life in this season amongst this these eclipses as we step into this Scorpio solar eclipse, trust that you're meant to do a lot of healing with trust. Trust that all is divinely unfolding for you. And trust that the more that you lean into trust, the more that you heal into trust, that your life will forever be positively changed by it, evolved by it, transformed by it. We've also got wonders, which is a reflection of just the miraculousness of all life. And be in awe, like be just, for those who have been, there have been a lot of heart activations and heart openings taking place recently in the collective. Some individuals have really been experiencing this over the past month. Some of us may be experiencing it come Scorpio season. Um, but part of the heart activation and heart opening is just experiencing this bliss, this awe, this this wonder of life where it's just like you just are just completely joyful and in love for no reason other than the fact that you're alive and regardless of your external circumstances you just feel in awe of life and so grateful to be alive and i've been experiencing this and some of you watching this may may have been experiencing this too it's like i just feel so blissful so happy so such a like i feel like such a miracle for no reason like you would think that right now i would be so depressed and and just stressed and angry and and just like scared and fearful but i'm feeling so blissful and my heart is so open and it just feels like it can burst uh and and just this inexplicable joy of un unconditional love um and that that is what we are all aligning to and i'm really excited for all of us to experience this heart opening relaxation please allow yourself to relax allow yourself 
to restore, to replenish, that is going to be very, 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 very important work for all of us at this time um, as we experience just immense transformation and healing and awakening and ascension. And community, allow yourselves to experience community, allow yourselves to experience love and support through community. We cannot do all this healing and awakening and ascending on our own and we're not meant to. We're not meant to. Allow yourself to love and to be loved, right? And a lot of what we're gonna be experiencing too is soul family reunion. Uh, a lot of us aligning to those who reflect the higher aspects of ourselves and welcome this community when you when you align with love and reflections of love be open to receiving that okay because it is meant for you and like i said we're not meant to be journeying this life alone we're not meant to be journeying through all our healing alone. There's a lot of healing, uh, a lot of overcoming challenges and difficulties that that are meant to be experienced in community. What healing are is the collective meant to experience at this time as we step into eclipse season? Um, through the next couple of weeks, what is the healing that the collective is? meant to experience at this time okay lots of cards let's let's get into them okay let's get into them i'm not gonna skip over any messages that the divine has for us so this may be somewhat of a longer video longer reading but we're gonna let it be okay i'm not surprised of the first card that is coming up for us which is the card of death um scorpios are so open to talk about death where we have we have a, a darkness to us that we embrace uh, at least you know the evolved scorpio if you will the healed scorpio the healing scorpio the the consciously aware scorpio who has done a lot of confronting the self, holding the self accountable, um, is a Scorpio who has, who has discovered the light in the darkness, right? Because shadow work is, a lot of us may perceive shadow work as dark work, but really it's light work. And I don't know how to ex really explain that, but. But if you get it, you get it. If you know, you know. And what I'm getting at is that there is light in death. I was talking to a friend recently about how I personally believe that it's important that we remind ourselves of the truth that we're all going to die. We're all going to die one day. And a lot of us avoid this truth. A lot of us avoid talking about death. A lot of us feel very uncomfortable talking about death. And we miss out on a lot when we do that, when we are very avoidant when it comes to death because death is such a great teacher. Death teaches, teaches us how to be fully alive. It inspires us to be fully alive, to really just make the most out of this life. And, you know, when you experience death in your own life, the death of a loved one, you know, for that moment, for that season where you where you're kind of in that shock of losing somebody and realizing like, wow, like we're really all going to die one day. Like we're just we're here one moment and we're gone the next moment. And it's just like very sobering and awakening. Like a lot of us will experience that for like momentarily and then we kind of let it go and become avoidant again. But Scorpio energy is energy of like, you know, the evolved Scorpio is the higher aspects of Scorpio is like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna integrate this awakening that I'm having right now from this death that I'm experiencing in my life because it's really making me realize so much and I'm gonna honor the death for really teaching me how to be so alive. So allow death to be healing for you. You know, 
let's not be so avoidant when it comes to death anymore. Um, and, and it's not even just physical deaths, right? It could be ego deaths. It could be the deaths of certain relationships in our lives, certain cycles, habits, uh, just thought pattern, just so many different aspects of death that we experience in our life. The death of our past lives, the death of our old selves. Grieve that. Allow, allow those deaths to really fully awaken you, integrate them, uh, learn from them, allow death to be one of your greatest spiritual teachers because it is it is one of the greatest spiritual teachers we've also got omens we're gonna if we're gonna be experiencing a lot of mystical experiences especially if you are opening yourself up to receive them if you are becoming more receptive if you are opening your heart if you are really devoting yourself to this work to your spiritual path there's gonna be a lot of omens watch out for the omens look out for the omens numbers birds words conversations songs really call them in and really acknowledge them call them out when you see them every time i see an angel number every time i just feel like this was an omen this was a sign this was meant for me i thank all the divine for for sending me this omen um, for, for gifting me the sign that, that really reassures me, that, that affirms me. Have that open communication and dialogue with spirit. Grounding. So here we have confirmation again that we're meant to do a lot of grounding at this time. And that grounding ourselves will, will contribute a lot, a lot, a lot to our healing. Um, retreat. So we also, another affirmation here, we got the hermit uh energy earlier of like allowing ourselves to retreat and recharge and restore and replenish here we have again that yes you know let me affirm this it's going to be very healing for us to retreat to recharge to restore to replenish um sacred space holding that sacred space for ourselves what does that look like for you what does that feel like for you define that gift yourself that we're going to need that because <laughs> this is going to be very intense eclipse season for all of us honoring your energy how are you honoring your energy and again remember that the ways in which you honor your life and yourself and your energy is a reflection of you honoring the divine of you honoring all life and all energy right it's bigger than you that's 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 a reflection of us, of you, of me seeing, acknowledging the bigger picture, right? It's not just about us. It's not all about us. And I think many of us, I know many of us have been realizing that, like, it's bigger than me. It's, it's bigger than me. Stripping illusions. We are, we are uh purifying again our perceptions our pers our perspectives our beliefs our thoughts our bodies our hearts our words a lot of purification taking place in every aspect of our lives and part of that is the stripping of illusions letting go illusions you know the illusion of separation the illusions of fear the illusions of of limitation and lack and scarcity and not enoughness Many of us have been confronted by these illusions recently and really realizing like how we've been holding ourselves back, how we've been, you know, like continuing to believe these illusions that are illusions. They're not real. They're not true. They're not rooted in love. They're not rooted in the divine. And may we strip those away because we're, we, we need to strip a lot of these illusions that are rooted in fear in order for us to again really experience the ascension that is being made available to us through this eclipse season so allow the illusions to come up allow yourself to confront them allow yourself to really accept the illusions that you've subscribed yourself to for a big chunk of your life and acknowledge how how these illusions that you've been believing in have been affecting and impacting and influencing your life leading up to this point we've also got anger really um see anger as a healing emotion 
don't dismiss your anger. Uh, be mindful of your anger and how you respond to it. Don't identify with it. Don't attach yourself to it, but don't dismiss it, right? Scorpio does, again, is the sign of a lot of depth and Scorpios feel everything so deeply and intensely and that's part of the shadow aspect that we really need to work with it's like when we feel anger we really feel a lot of anger when we fear when we feel jealousy we really feel you know if we're not mindful of it and that's what we're all going to be experiencing is just the intensity of emotions that need to be confronted and healed um, and transmuted into light and allowing ourselves to feel the intensity of it but being mindful of how it is that we do so making sure that we're not attaching ourselves to it that we're not holding on to it that we're not identifying with it our feelings are not who we are our feelings are what we feel and feelings are you know emotions are energy in motion let's allow them to be in motion and not be the blockage that that is uh, obstructing that motion that flow okay uh sexual energy right when a lot of people when they think of scorpios they think of you know sex and all of that <laughs> but um it's deeper than that i think we've all been I, we've all been realizing how just everything is just deeper than what we made it out to be like yes everything really is that deep um and sexual energy isn't just about sex right sexual energy is creative energy and when you heal your sexuality you're healing your creativity and when you're healing your creativity you're healing your sexuality so let's do a lot of healing work surrounding that surrounding our sex life surrounding our sexuality surrounding how we perceive ourselves and our sexiness and our beauty um and others as well and and let's also heal the dynamic that exists in our sacral chakra um, where a lot of creation takes place for the feminine for those who have um uh who though for those who experience menstrual cycles on a monthly basis there's a lot of womb healing that is to be taking place around this time and you may have found yourself already feeling inspired to do a lot of womb healing, to do a lot of cleansing. You may have found yourself inspired to become celibate, to be more mindful of your sexual partners and like anything revolving our sexual energy, our sexuality, our creativity. There's a lot of healing to be done there at this time. And also in regards to abundance, a lot of healing surrounding abundance again stripping the illusions of lack limitation scarcity and really acknowledging that all of those it's that's an illusion right We're, life is abundant life is abundant we have more than enough home healing our home the home within us defining what home is for us uh returning back home to our true selves to our higher selves uh, reunion of souls like I said there's gonna be a lot of soul family reunion when you align to love when you align to truth when you align to those who are meant to be in your community when you align to those who reflect your higher self may you be open enough to receive them and to keep them and to experience them because there's a lot of healing that's going to be taking place when these soulmates come into union and perception again just affirmation that there's a lot of you know healing to be done in regards to how we perceive our lives how we how we perceive um all life and how important it is that we are shifting our perceptions noticing what perceptions aren't serving us um and doing the shifting and doing the expansion right of how it is that we see the world i'm gonna try to move through the remainder of this reading quite swiftly because we're coming into an hour of this reading okay what are what is the collective call to surrender at this time what is the collective call to surrender at this time 
What is the collective call to surrender at this time? What is the collective call to surrender amongst this Scorpio, Sol Scorpio solar eclipse? Amongst this eclipse season that we're stepping into, what is the collective call to surrender? Okay. Let's get into this. Surrender to miracles. Whenever we get to, whenever I get to the surrender cards and affirmation cards at the end of my readings, they just feel like affirmations of everything that we've already received. So I love when a message just continuously comes up because it just affirms that like, yes, this is a message that we're meant to receive. Surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So we talked about miracle, miracles earlier uh, in the reading. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow more easily. Surrendered procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Take action, my friends. Okay? Actions rooted in love. Surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Surrender to complete healing, which is what we're all going to be experiencing if we allow ourselves to in this eclipse season. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. We've got the sunflower there again. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Yes, yes, yes. Surrender to success. Amen to that. You are ready to experience abundance. I'm telling you a lot of healing and awakening surrounding abundance is taking place for the collective at this time because y'all the divine is so over us being in lack and limitation we are holding ourselves back believing in this illusion okay it is not true it is not true that we do not have enough it is not true that there is not enough it is not true it is not true you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. And lastly, surrender denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Okay? Yes. Now let's get into our affirmations. To bring this reading full circle, what are the affirmations for the collective? What are the affirmations, words of affirmation for the collective that the collective is meant to hear, meant to affirm at this time as we approach the Scorpio solar eclipse, as we step into eclipse season? What is the collective meant to affirm at this time? What is the collective meant to affirm at this time? Okay. Ready? Woo! Let's do this. I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want. 
life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. This is the bliss that I was talking about earlier. I have the perfect living space. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It's in a beautiful location and at a price I can afford. Hi, Aprosian. So it's that home healing that came up earlier in the reading. I am worth loving. Hello to giving and receiving love. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Others reflect the love I have for myself. Love is your birthright. I see my parents as tiny children who need love. So much love healing. I'm telling y'all, love is coming to the forefront of our lives. I have compassion for my parents' childhoods. I now know that I chose them because they were perfect for what I had to learn. I forgive them and set them free, and I set myself free. All is well in my world. Everything is working out for my highest good. Uh, out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. I let go of all expectations i flow freely and lovingly with life i love myself i know that only good awaits me at every turn i balance my masculine and feminine sides the the masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony i am at peace and all is well and lastly it is safe to look within it is safe to look within yourself and all of you, all of who you are and what you've been and what you're becoming. I, as I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. That just like affirms that this is really like, we're really coming into a season of just like redefining love and like really coming into this higher frequency this higher vibration this higher perception of love and and really understanding what love truly is and letting go of all the aspects of our lives that don't reflect that true divine unconditional love that we are awakening to that we're becoming aware of that we're expanding our perception on um, and really gaining a deeper understanding of. And this is like a self-love, like a deeper self-love, a deeper love for life, a, a deeper love for others. And I'm really excited about all the transformation and evolution that we're all gonna be experiencing this eclipse season. And I pray that this reading um, assists you and brought forth clarity and comfort and confidence to you and your journey in some way, shape or form. I am going to be uh, sharing some journaling prompts for this Scorpio solar eclipse. Of course, um, it might already be on my channel depending on when it is that you're watching this reading. Um, if you, so definitely check that out. Um, and if you resonated with any of the messages from this reading, I'd love to know what those messages are in the comment section below. You already know I love connecting and cultivating community with you all in the comments. Thank you all so much for receiving this reading, for being here, for bringing me into your present moment. I am so, so honored and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So much love, light, and gratitude. Bye.